Welcome back to the Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Pink Book Lessons. I haven't done an episode with her in quite a while, probably like since the beginning of my channel, but she did a wonderful video on I wear what I want, you know, and why their relationships fail. Please like and subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's get to that chow. It's chow time. Do you guys have a man? No mans, no mans. Single? I wonder why. Single. All right, let's say you guys had a man and he wanted you to, you know, change outfits because he thought you might dress a little bit too slutty. What would you tell him? I would tell him to get a new girlfriend because <laughs> I don't give a f I'm going to wear what the f I want to wear. That, that. Yeah, that, that. That's why you ain't got no man. Yep. And I don't want to hear you running around crying five, ten years from now talking about where are all the good men. Remember what you said here. Obviously, feminism destroyed women in America. They're rebellious. They don't like order or structure. They don't like being told what to do. They could wear whatever they want. They could do whatever they want. Whatever, whatever. She said it all. I don't think I need to say anything on this one. Do what I want. And then wonder why decent men don't want to deal with them so much so that they'll go over to another country to find a decent woman. Why we passport bros? Take a second to make bros. sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Click that notification bell for all updates. Won't waste some love. any time. Let's go love. ahead and jump into it. No man is worth listening to if he's telling you to change like that, though. Like, thoughts? Yeah, no, no, what she said, 100%. Okay. And the one on the right, I don't even believe her. Speaking of them not wanting men to be in control, but she's allowing this little bulldog on the left to control her thoughts. These single, <laughs> bitter, rebellious women, they're the ones keeping other women single. He wanted you to change outfits coming to a no. What would you tell him? You can stay home. I don't care. That just means he's insecure about himself because what the f So he's, he's not worried. They always use that insecure, like he has standards. He doesn't want to go out there and looks like a fucking simp slash, you know, like he's a, he was with a slut and he's insecure about it. And uh, he doesn't want to have the other thing is the biggest thing is if men touch you or men do something around you, guess who's going to have to, you know, take care of that him. He doesn't want that to have to be what's going on every time he goes out with you. Right. Because men will lay each other out for shit like that and you're just exposing yourself just putting him in danger putting yourself in danger constantly when you don't have to worth listening to just a little bit uh, i'll probably cover up my butt <laughs> <laughs> you might cover up the not the oh. And here is this thought bucket with her baby bot bimbo babble. Mm -hmm. That is their number one excuse all the time. The number one go to is to shame men, call them jealous or insecure. When really you shouldn't have to negotiate with a woman not to show her behind off. Any yep. woman giving pushback and fighting for their right to expose herself, she's for the streets anyway. And uh -huh. I guarantee you men handle her accordingly. No future no one is supposed to take her seriously anyway let her get passed around by chad and poogie she's not even qualified for a decent man what'd you tell him like i'd be like F you you don't you don't control me <laughs> that's what you would tell him yeah okay i don't want a man because of that reason but <laughs> <laughs> this loud obnoxious woman yeah that's exactly why men shouldn't deal with women like you and it looks like she's more interested in the woman behind her yep. my thing is for women like this stay single stop trying to get with men they don't respect men and they don't like men they try to have children they try to get married you are not compatible for any of that you are not qualified to be someone's mother because you can't even get along with the man in order to have a decent family structure. You don't make a good wife. So stay single. Stop ruining society by creating more broken homes because no relationship is going to last with them long term. It just can't happen. It's too out of order. We just. Damn. She's so red pilled. So. Fuck. I. I don't even have anything to freaking add to it, tell you the truth. <laughs> Saw that with Mayor de Blasio and his wife. By the way, if you missed that video, the link will be below. Go ahead and watch that after this video. If you can't date a bad bitch, don't handle, like, don't Ooh. date one. Like, that's I've, period. I've had uh, girls tell me that they broke up with their boyfriend because of that. What do you say to that? Well, yeah, because it's like if he's not, like, secure with himself to, like, date a bad bitch, then don't date one. Okay. So. It's the inflated ego fueled by social media and the lies they tell themselves for me. 
And why is it that they all sound like a broken City Girl record? Yep. Black, white, everything in between, all of them. This is America. If you can't handle a bad, you don't get one. I definitely can work with it, but I mean, right now I'm 22 years old and uh, I don't really, I'm not really looking for like anything marriage wise because to be honest, all marriages end in 50% divorce. So why am I gonna look at the ripe young age I am? Translation, she's trying to party and get passed around right now. She's not trying to settle down. But later on, she's going to be complaining about trying to find a decent man to take her seriously. And any man who makes the foolish decision to marry a woman like this, they will be a part of that 50%. The bullhorn knows where he gives it all away. It oh. symbolizes that she's always at war. And if you got into a relationship with her, she's going to be at constant war with you. <laughs> Don't know. You too bad, you're so too sad. Too bad. Too bad, to change, so sad. We get to wear what we want to wear. Yeah. No. Replaceable. Yeah. <laughs> right now, they think it's so funny. But they ladies, do. if you hang out with women like this. Until they hit the wall and they can't get no man. And they're going to be. <laughs> Where are all the good men at? <laughs> this, you're going to be just like them. This is why you always see groups and groups of single women with the same results, with the same complaints, because they all have the same mindset. I have had that happen and I break up with them because that's controlling and I don't, I don't with that. You broke up with them? Yeah. Look how hard she's smiling. You see the thought of rejecting a man, that gives them false confidence. It does. Really these feminists are wild animals. Again, you cannot tame wild stray alley cats. Yeah, you gotta gorgeous. go. Cause my fit's not going so one of y'all gotta go and it's not my outfit so. The last girl I interviewed said she broke up with the guy because of that. Would you break up? Hell yeah. There's seven billion people. I could find another one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll run through you. I mean, are I you like insecure? Why are you asking this question? <laughs> Good point. Let's uh, say your boyfriend wanted you to change outfits because you're dressing too like too, a little bit too uh -huh. wild. What would you tell him? Fuck off. <laughs> Yeah, like, let me wear what I want. Isn't he the king worth listening to? <laughs> I'm not here to be controlled by someone else. You think it's a little bit... They really think that it's control. Like, we're trying to control you for not dressing like a slut. Society is just... Has gone such downhill that, you know, wear, being slutty and wearing provocative clothing is the norm now and when someone tells you to dress a little modest it's controlling really tells a lot about the west here it really does it controlling it is controlling last year for escape he told me that i couldn't wear specific outfits but i still wore them because i'm like what the <laughs> i told him i was like i'm gonna wear this i'm gonna wear this. he's like no you're not no you're not look how masculine they are you know calling him a bitch no i'm gonna do whatever i want bitch i'm just like you know, when Rick James, the late great Rick James, rest in peace, you know, in the Chappelle skit, just come over here, bitch, you know, all this bitch, you know, people were getting upset about it. But women now literally call men all the time, bitches, bitch, 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 all the time. So it's <laughs> and I was like, yes, I am, bro. She calls her boyfriend bro. She refers to him as a B word when she's talking about him. A year ago, he told her that he did not like her outfit that she was gonna wear to the event. She wore it anyway, and then he stayed with her? And these are the women who believe that they are strong and Sips. can do whatever they want, but they also need protection. This is why men cannot protect random women. How can you take responsibility for someone who doesn't even listen to you, who doesn't respect you. But yeah, this woman is trash and only two types of men will deal with her. A beta male simp or a chat who's not gonna take her seriously and just run game on her. I sent him a picture of my outfits and he's like, damn, and I was like, I know. I don't gotta worry about that. He I lets me dress up. Yeah, I need to secure my boy. Like, you know, that's my lady. You gotta think, Every, everyone around At the end females. Of the day, he's tapping this, so I can't exactly. say nothing. <laughs> Like, I, I mean, she got all the right to tell me no. I mean, she dressed the way she wanted to dress too, you know? Like, okay. if, I'm, if I'm choosing to be with her, then I'm choosing to be with her, her style, everything, you know what I'm saying? So, if that's her thing, then I gotta be okay with it. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, some girls have told me it's controlling if a guy tries to do that, do you agree? Yeah. Look, she even made her beta boyfriend a feminist too. It's obvious who's running this relationship. And even yep. after all this kissing her behind, it's still not going to work. 
because she's never going to respect him. Nope. No woman respects a man like this. They just use them and walk all over them. Some girls told me they broke up with their boyfriend because of that. What do you, is that too much or is that reasonable? What do you say to that? It's pretty reasonable, but that's just me. Like, if he's like worried about like other guys looking at you, that means he just looks at other girls. It's like it's all projection, so. Oh, okay. Is it controlling? Yeah, I think so, 100%. Um, I would change it a little bit with his consideration, but I would still go with what I have. You met me. I will change it a little bit for his consideration, but I'll still go with what I have. Then what would you change? What are you changing if you're still going with what you have? God damn women. With my ass out of my ass out, baby, accept it, okay? <laughs> and change it. You know what? That obnoxious woman was right. If you meet a woman like her and ignore all the red flags, then that's on you. You can't mold stale bread. And this most women over 30, they cannot change. And then some of them are so That's why there's okay. That's why there's channel like this. You know, like don't deal with these women, man. Don't stop simping for them. Don't let them do whatever the hell they want. Put your standards out there. And if they don't want to adhere to your standards, walk away. I literally just walked away from one yesterday because similar reasons. Each so programmed with the feminism rhetoric and they've been listening to other bitter women for so long. It's nothing that you can do with them. And then everyone knows you can't turn a 304 into a housewife. And to the women always saying they can't find a good man. It's funny when they say this because people automatically assume that they're a good woman. But nine times out of 10, low quality people will find each other. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. Sp Whew, that was some slutty chow. Women don't want men to control them, but want us to defend and provide for them. They really don't know that them dressing like that can cause major issues, you know, on the streets. Like men can literally try to touch you or do whatever because you're dressed that way. And then when something does happen, you expect us the men in your life to do something about it you know this is why so many men are in prison and in the grave just because of women like these protect yourself men please like subscribe down below i'd really appreciate it and catch you guys next time it's chapter